Today on Singles Court, Tom is wired up, logged on, and getting off. He's spending all his time at porno sites, in chat rooms specifically. Please. But Robin wants to pull the plug on the cyber vixen. The truth is, he's not interested in sex with me. He hasn't laid a hand on me in about five months. And Forrest's bachelor party is making his wedding plans go bottoms up. It's my last night as a single guy. What I, I promised I'm not going to drink. What's the big deal? Dominique says, stay on the wagon because you're drowning my passion. I just don't want you associating with those but, but I think I it's unfair, it's unreasonable, it's not like my friends sit unfair. around all day. Well, hello there, and welcome to Singles Court, the number one show on the Singles Broadcast Network. And there's a very good reason why. It's relationship mediator Angela Siegel. Michael, you're looking nice and sunny and bright today. I am the Sun King today. You can call me Louis XIV if you like. I'd rather not. Let's get on with the case. But I'd like to introduce, yes, I'd like to introduce you to Tom, who's a bus driver, and Robin, who's a dental hygienist. They've been together for a while. In fact, they live together. However, Robin has a problem with Tom. It's his continual cyber adventures. She feels that Tom's ignoring her and spending more time on the computer. And it's uh, turning into a bit of a porno madness in the house. I'll let her tell you more about it because I call this the case of virtual sex, real life problems, or emails and shemales. Well, Robin, the internet seems to have caused you some problems. What seems to be going on here? Well, We've been living together for about 18 months, and things were fine for about a year until Tom got a new computer. She wanted me to advance my horizons. Yeah, fine, fine. Become a little so, brighter, you know? Mm -hmm. Can I finish, please? <clears throat> Go for it. So he puts it in the basement, and he spends virtually all his time there. We had no room on the main floor. That's okay. fine, but every night, and he's not just surfing the net, he's spending all his time at porno sites, in chat rooms specifically. Please. I ask you every single day, why don't you come downstairs, honey? Come and Tom, enjoy. Tom, Tom. Is that true? I mean, do you use the computer only for the porno sites? No, or no, you... I write letters, I send emails, to I to play people games. people in the porno site? Uh, that too, but I mean, I also send emails to friends. I have new friends on the emails. You know, I'm... Okay, but how, how much time would you say in a day, let's say you come home from work, mm -hmm. from that time until the time you go to bed, how many of those hours would you say you spend at the computer? Well, three, four hours. I mean, you know, four, not, at least four. From a the good time part he comes of the home evening. from work. Uh, from the time I come home from work. Well, you know, if we had dinner on the table, it maybe would we could sit and relax and eat together. It would be one thing if he was together. just, you know, doing a little experimenting, enjoying. I don't mind him even looking well, at naked women. I'm but sorry, it's Angela, you know what? No, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. We Quite. used to rent porn together. <laughs> Question, Robin. Obviously, the computer's in another room. Do you think it would change if the computer were on the main floor? Because I don't think you have a computer. I mean, this is not, you know, 1960. I'm sure it's not a mainframe that can't fit in your living room. So do you think it's geographical where it's located, or do you think Please, he's doing she something that's obviously that obviously has something to hide. Something to hide? Hide what? I have nothing to hide. Are you kidding me? We used to rent I... porn together. She used to enjoy it. You used to love every single what? second of it. It used to turn her on. It used to Tom, make her great. Tom, that the question is, the porno sites, you admit they're taking a lot of your time up. I wouldn't say it's taking a lot of my no, time, I but I enjoy it. I know you wouldn't, but you did say that it is because you told me how many hours you well, spent. Well, I enjoy spending time doing it. I'm not saying that it's taking my time. I'm giving it my okay. time. Oh, how well, noble of you. Maybe they need a faster processor or something in the computer. Would that help? Michael. Thanks. Sorry. You know so what? So basically, if you're spending that much time there, think about the relationship with your girlfriend. I try to. But if you take that time away from her, what are you going to give her back in return? But I try to You're include her in everything I do. In the basement, I try I never to include. See you I anymore. ask you every Robin, time. When Robin, I Robin, Robin, Robin. With respect to him being in the basement, you already, he's there. It's, you've, it's been going on for quite some time. Walk down the stairs. Excuse me. Have you thought about trying to have some sort of inclusion? Maybe there's a site you all can find together. I would love to do that, but well, he but wants what, well, what to shut you, me okay, out. But I what want have to you, shut you out. What have Please. You, what have you done, Robin, to to find that? 
I mean, there are, there's, what, thousands and thousands of sites. What have you done to help find something both of you can do together? But that's the point. He doesn't want to do anything with me. He goes straight down there, he slams the door, and I know what you're up to. Oh, you what know you, what I'm up what to. What is he up to? What is he up to? He's going into chat rooms. He's spending a ton of money. That's another thing. I work like for my money. I can pay, I can spend it on whatever I want to spend it hey, on. Tom, okay, Tom. thank you. Have you heard of something called a porno internet addiction? People that are so, that, uh, that forget <laughs> about everything else that's, that's going it. on in their You're life. You're obsessed. Look, excuse me. You know, if you all wanted to talk to each other, why are you like taking up my space? That's what I've been asking. No, that's what I'm asking you now. So you either, either answer the questions and we try to come to a mm -hmm. resolution or you can leave now and bring somebody else in here who really wants to do something about their life. I'd like to do something, but well, I love her. Okay, but here's the question. If you're taking that time and spending it in the basement, mm -hmm. then that means you are taking it away from her. So tell me what you think you can do to include her in what you're doing. Well, I asked her to come downstairs with no, me. No, besides that. I... Do you see, the Robin? The is, Robin? he doesn't want to. Why not? Because he's spending all of his time with stuff like this. Like what? Oh, listen, this is what he's oh, up to. Oh, come on. His name is Tom's Hot Bod. And he <laughs> says, I would love if your joke. real Funny. Tom was here right now. Glamour Girl, oh, Tom, pretend that it is and I'm licking your you ear. You know it's not real. Tell me where your come hands on. are. No, it's not real. Angela, it's a that's fantasy. not fair. That's, that's not fine. fair. How did she go into that? Huh? Are you spying on me? That's not fair. You because what I was in. You know, hey, wait a you second. Know, guys, you know what? If you make me break my gavel, it's going to be all bad in here. So let's just hold on. Let me tell you something. First of all, I have a question for you. That stuff, we know it's not real. But think mm -hmm. about it. It's taking real time away from your relationship. That's you're why right. you're here. I agree with you. Okay, uh, good. But you know what? Now, now let's move to the next step. Okay. You know it's taking time away from your relationship. It's not real. What is it about her that you're trying to avoid? Well, that's the point I'm trying to get at. Because, well, hurry up. Okay, well, the fact is, I used to be involved in Dungeons and & Dragons, and she knew it was all fantasy and fake. But when that's I used to come different. home, she was all hot and bothered because it was fantasy, and she loved it. That's and she knows fine. it's not you real. It's the same as this here. You on that. You spent time with me back then. But it's the same thing. Robin, it's all it's fake. Not? It's fantasy. It's a thing Robin. that we do together. Robin. Do you understand that right now he doesn't want to find another way for you to do something together? But on the other hand, that I've asked you twice what your suggestions are, and you don't have any either. I've tried things. I just like want what? to spend time with him. I've tried cuddling. I've tried no, watching no, no. porno videos with him. I've tried going golfing with him, which I hate. I hate. I hate. I, I've tried, I I've tried that. to get what down do there like in the basement. What do you like She likes knitting. She likes taping videos. She likes the taping the prices is, right. Are you kidding me? The truth she comes home is, and watches that every single shh, night. Shh, shh, shh. The bus is coming to a halt. Shh. The truth is, he's not interested in sex with me. He hasn't laid a hand on me in about five months. Five why? months? It's actually four is? months I've been counting, four. okay? Well, why? Counting. Why? Let me see. She has needs. You have needs. I have, yes, needs. I have needs. She has to go to the shower. She has to listerine her mouth, floss, brush her teeth before she even comes in the room. By the time she with comes you, in what's the room, I'm sleeping. And you know what else? All right, I mean? okay, let's just turn like a you dead down fish you are. a little bit. Let's turn the volume Robin, he called you a dead fish. I mean, I can, you know, you have to realize that you all have big issues. I mean, you're, you're fighting here about, you're on two, two separate sides. You really are. And it's not about the computer. I'll be back with my resolution. You know, the internet is a wonderful thing, but everything in moderation. You know, Robin, you gave Tom the perfect excuse to bolt down to the basement because you were really unwilling to listen to his needs, unwilling to help and nurture him, uh, and unwilling to meet the needs that he had. Unfortunately, it's pretty hard when the person doesn't tell you what they are and they run down to the basement. Tom, you, on the other hand, created this fantasy world where you could be the stud and hard body that no one would ever really make you be. There was no way to check and see if you were really who you were. And, you know, you can create a fantasy and make people believe you're something that you're really not. The problem with that is it really shows that you really don't want to be responsible for what it is that you say or do. You just want to do it. That's where the Internet can be harmful because it doesn't really hold you accountable for anything that you say. You know, relationships, they're in real time. They're not about fantasy. And if your relationship is built on fantasy, it doesn't take long before it collapses. And in this case, both of you are yelling on separate sides. 
Nobody's listening to the other one. Nobody's willing to meet the other one's needs. No one's willing to come together in the middle. It's just both yeah, 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 yeah. And when you do that, it's amazing what happens. You both end up on separate sides of the bed. And then a year later, you look at each other and want to try to figure out what happened. It's a terrible place to be. What I can say to you de today is try to meet the needs of the other person. Stop and listen. It's amazing how when you shut up and let the other person say something, how you find out loads and loads of things you didn't know. So my suggestion to you today is turn off the computer, cancel your subscription, look at each other, and talk to each other. You'd be surprised. It does work. And that's that in black and white. Since Next together, on Singles Court, Forrest's like bachelor him. party is making his wedding plans go bottoms up. It's my last night as a single guy. What, I, I promised I'm not going to drink. You will drink. I know you'll drink. And you'll just, and you're going to lose control. And your friends are going to keep telling you to drink, drink, drink. And then you're going to drink. And then you're going to go out. And then you're going to get some sort of a tattoo on your neck. Hi, and welcome back to Singles Court, the flagship show of the Singles Broadcast Network. So please say ahoy to our captain, Angela Siegel. This is not the love boat. Aye, aye, captain, it is not. <laughs> but we do have a couple of lovers here today in the studio. They are Forrest and Dominique. They've been uh, living together and going together for quite a while now, and they're ready to take it to the next level. They're going to get married. However, Dominique has a few reservations about Forrest's ba bachelor party. I will let them take it from there, because this is the case of, if you drink, it's my hangover. Well, Dominique, it sounds like you have an issue with the bachelor party, as many women do. Mm -hmm. What seems to be the problem? Well, Angela, if I may. Um, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> uh, Dominique and I, we've been together for about two years. Mm -hmm. I love her madly. I can't wait to marry her. Mm -hmm. um, it is true, I've had a bit of a, a, an excessive, as she calls it, an excessive drinking problem in the past, but since we've been together... What do you call it? I, I call it maybe um, excessive drinking. Okay. Not to the extreme, but, uh, you know, mm -hmm. boys will be boys. And, um, mm -hmm. um, um, you know, it's be since we've been together, I think we've worked all that out, and it's in, the, it's, it's in our past. Okay. Part of the problem is she thinks my friends are a bad influence on me. They and are. as a result, I haven't been spending any time with them. These guys have gone through a lot of trouble to okay. plan this little bachelor uh, 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 poker party for me and uh, um, you know it's my last night as a single guy what I, I promised I'm not gonna drink what's the big deal okay I'm not gonna drink well, let's you ask know? her Dominique what's the big deal he's not gonna drink you know he's making his friends sound like they're the greatest things on earth and they're not what's you wrong know with them? they just they we used to go when we used to go out with them we'd go out and they'd always want to drink and they come back to my house they get drink and they just want to get drunk and i just I, you know ever since so, we've been together he's clean and he's sober and i like him that way and i just think it's just better that way our lives are, life is going really well right so now. As, so you feel as long as you keep him away from the friends he never drinks around anybody else right and no. i think well yes well you know i i uh, i'm not denying that i'm grateful to dominique for um, rescuing me from my wild side, if you will, from myself. She's okay. at, at, at times it's showing me the light, but at the same time, you know, I've told her I haven't seen these guys in a long time. Right, but can you understand that she feels that the friends give you the environment that causes the problem of well, the drinking? Well, I understand how, that's how she feels, but that, that, may not, that doesn't mean that it's, it's so. Okay, so has it happened without them? The drinking, the excessive drinking, even well, by I don't, admission? I haven't been out okay, too much. Okay, before that. To, before that, did it happen without them? Uh, not really, well, no. Well, then let's think about this. Hmm. It happens with yeah. them. By your own admission, it happens when you're with them. Even if it was a time ago, it was when you were with them. Yeah. So can you see why she thinks if you're I with them again? I can see that. I can see that. I, I, just, I just think there are... There's more. There's got to be more to it because I mean, she's accusing me of stuff. That, not, that, well, that's not an accusation. That's a fear. Do you understand her fear? Yeah. If, okay. if yes, I, I can understand her fear. Okay. Yes, sure, so, I can. Dominique, what's what's it worth to you in terms of him being able to help you feel better about him having the bachelor party? It's worth everything to me. I mean, this is worth what can he do besides not go? Oh. Well, I'm just, I just don't want him to drink anymore. And I, I think those friends are a very bad influence on him. I mean, the last time he said he stopped drinking, he wouldn't go drinking. He went out with his friends, and I Same said, okay, ones. go. Right. He, I said, okay, go. And this he went was out with his friends. It was, like a, it was like a year ago. Okay. He went out with his friends, and he came home absolutely so drunk that he passed out 
in in the front lawn with his pants around his ankles. I I, I, I can't go there. Well, I, wonder, I wonder if the neighbors could go there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Was, this was this is unfair, it's unreasonable, but did that, but and did it's getting happen? ridiculous. First to begin. Did, did, that to begin. Ha did that happen? Well, not exactly the way she's saying it. Oh, did. it well, happened. Did you which, listen? You know, which, part, I mean, which part is right? Well, I, I was a little drunk. Yes, there I, he I, was. And were you on the lawn with your pants down? Um, I had to wake him up. Well, my pants were down. My shirt was open, maybe. I don't, I don't remember my pants being down. Were you on the lawn drunk? Beg your pardon? Were you on the lawn drunk? Yes, he was. I, I, uh, yes, he was. Well, then that's enough. To, I mean, that's enough of the truth, wouldn't you say? Hello? Yeah, fair enough. But I mean, it's, you know, my friend's in that bad for us to begin. I mean, that was are, a year ago. Yeah. So what's changed in a year that should make her feel Everything better? Everything has changed. What? Well, I mean, for, for one thing, we're planning to get married. Um, you know, I've prom and I've stayed away from my friends. I haven't, I haven't I stayed away. I mean, I haven't seen them as much. I've given her the benefit of the doubt. Uh, um, I mean, these are decent people. Okay, you know, but, but, I, you know. but you haven't told me anything to change with the friends. So, Dominique, let me ask you: the, the drinking's a problem. It sounds like it's a it's a problem. Well, it it, it hasn't happened since the year. It okay. hasn't. But happened he hasn't been around those friends in the year either, right? Well, right. So that's why I say keep him away, and then we're going to be fine. Really, yeah. you think? Well, I think. Okay, I think so. Okay, well, let, let's talk a little bit about the friends because now you think that the friends are the only people. What if they come to him? Well, you. I, mean, I just don't do want him associating with those. I just don't want you associating with those but friends. I, I think it's unfair. It's unreasonable. It's not like my it's friends sit unfair. around this is life all we're day about. And, and get drunk. I mean, these are decent people. You won't. You know, be I able told to you I wasn't going to drink. We shouldn't. You, you should you, believe me. No, you will drink. I know you'll drink, and you'll just and you're going to lose control, and your friends are going to keep telling you to drink, 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 and then you're going to drink, and then you're going to go out, and then you're going to get some sort of a tattoo on your neck, and then you're just going to come home, and then what? I don't have a tattoo on my neck. Where I think your father from? does, doesn't it? I, I, if I'm not mistaken, your father has a tattoo on his neck, not me. Does this? Oh. I'm confused. <laughs> so what, is, what, what tattoo on your neck? What's that? What is that? Uh, oh, uh, uh, I, 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 I got a little confused. With what? Uh, with my father. Your, um, okay, he, your father. What? He has a tattoo on his neck. Okay. I'm, is, is it my, and? My father. Is an alcoholic, and uh, so you've heard this whole situation before. So it's very familiar to you. Yeah, and and I just I just I just don't want to go there again. That's okay, but did the geographical cure work for your father? No, and he's still drinking. But he. Okay, so why do you think it'll work for him? Because it was working. He he hasn't been with his friends, and it was working fine. I thought now he wants to go and do the stag party, and I. I just don't want to. I just don't want to lose. Not a stag. It's it's a bachelor party. Whatever. Forrest, who makes the decisions when you go out, whether or not you're going to drink? Well, I try to consult with her and, and I try to be reasonable. No, when you're about, already out past her, yeah. who makes the decisions with Do regard to with but, regard to whether or not you'll drink and how much? Well, I'm mean, I'm, I'm a grown man. I'm not a child. I can make my own decisions. Correct. I mean, I, and I would assume that your friends don't hold you down and pour liquor down your throat. No, they don't. Do you understand that, Dominique? In that he makes his own decisions once he. I mean, he makes his own decisions. Do you understand that? You yeah. do? Well, you know, my question to you is, what are you going to do if he goes anyway? Well, probably just worry that he'll come home or, or maybe be unfaithful to me, maybe. I don't know. Maybe just worry. I'll be back with my resolution. Alcoholism is not an issue to take lightly. Forrest, you make the decision whether you want to drink or not drink. Ultimately, the decision is yours. But I will tell you that it does matter who you are with, where you go, and the things you do. If all those things lead you to drink again, it does matter. And Dominique, I can tell you from personal experience that when you love someone who has an addiction, there's nothing you can do to control their behavior. Everything that you do to try to change them does nothing but bring you down because they will ultimately do what they want to do. The disease is bigger than either you, bigger than me, bigger than him, bigger than a lot of people. And it's very difficult to watch the people you love destroy their life. And it's not a surprise that you picked a man who was an alcoholic when you came from a father who is an alcoholic because that's what you're used to. But the good news is you can make a change today and decide that you will stop the cycle right now. You know, in a relationship, 
trying to control someone else's behavior seldom gives you the desired result. As a matter of fact, it never does. What happens is you often end up with a result that's totally opposite of what you had intended. The good thing about this is you all do have a future together. You do. It's not as if it's all over and there's nothing you can do, because you do love each other. What I suggest you do is skip the bachelor party, go out to dinner, and then find yourself a program that both of you can get involved in together. And you can deal with the pain of alcoholism, you can deal with the issues that come with it, and you can learn together and know that hurt for you is hurt for him and will be hurt for your future family. I promise you, a drink is not worth the life that you all have ahead of you. And that's that in black and white. Well, there it is. When it comes to relationships, surfing porn does not compute. You got to keep it real. And it's okay to toast a marriage, but just be careful what's in the glass. Join us next time here at Singles Court, the final word for singles. <laughs>